Hello everyone and welcome back to Crypto Aussie. Welcome back to my channel. I would like to apologize to all my subscribers. I've actually been a little bit away from uh, from making these crypto videos because I've got a two year old son. And sometimes it actually gets very hard to, to spend some time and um, actually come out and um, record some videos for you. So I will try to record some more videos in future and be more, more consistent. Um, and we'll get you guys some more content. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please, please subscribe to my channel so that you could get those videos from my side and you get the notifications so you don't miss any important videos. Alrighty, so today we are talking about VeChain. Now VeChain is one of my personal favorite altcoins. Um, I must say that I do invest in VeChain as well. Um, and the reason being I do believe in the fundamentals and the uh, and, and the way WeChain works and how it's going to help the community um, with a real use case. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what my prediction is. Uh, FYI, just for disclaimer purposes, this is not a financial advice. Please do your own research. It is your money. You're going to be the one investing it. You're going to be the one that will be responsible for it. So what I'm going to share with you today is purely my opinion. All right. So let's start with looking at how the market's performing. For the past two days, the market has been quite stable, guys. As you know, we had a major crash because of our lovely Mr. Musk. And um, I don't think that Elon Musk had a big play in this crash. I think there was something big going on. I think the, the big whales, as you'd like to call them, they're the ones that actually manipulated the market. If you look at the, you know China banning cryptocurrency the 20th or 100th time in the last two, three years, uh, it's ridiculous and then you know you see a lot of panic sellers unfortunately sold all their coins and they lost a lot of money so my sympathies go out to those people who actually sold their coins guys for everyone that's listening to me and everyone that's subscribed to my channel please please you never sell when you are in a loss every time the market goes down just don't look at the the numbers do not look at the chart just shut it down, go out, take a deep breath, spend time with your family, have a burger, whatever you want to do. You are not to sell. You only sell when you're in the green. You never sell when you're in the red because the market will eventually come back up, which is proven, as you can see all the charts here. You know, you look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin crashed big time. And the reason I'm going to mention Bitcoin is because it's daddy of all coins. When Bitcoin goes down, unfortunately, it takes all the other coins down with it too. Now, also looking at the Bitcoin market, and you currently see that unfortunately it went down all the way to around 33,200. Uh, if I, oh, 32,963 dollars. So that is literally a uh, 68% or 70% um, loss in terms of its all times high, which was down in April. If I look at here, just retract the chart a little bit, you will see that we had the Bitcoin record its all time high somewhere down here on the 14th of April, it was trading at 63,576 US dollars, which was great. And you guys would have noticed when Bitcoin was up, VeChain was up as well. And around the same time, VeChain was also at its peak. And you'll see it was at on the 19th of April, actually not 19, 19th of April. Uh, it was sitting on an all time high. And the all time high for the, the coin was 28 cents. Now, that was a great price for the chain. Uh, but this is only just the beginning, guys. You know, we are not in a bear market, as you call it. This was a quick, um, you know, cash out scheme from the whales. So do not panic. We are still in a bull market. And I think that the bull market will go all the way down to the end of November mid of December. So we have to see we have yet to see a lot of gains from VeChain specifically. Now looking at the stats for VeChain, it's currently trading at 13.8 cents. And the market cap for VeChain is almost 8.85 8 billion dollars. 
that is a lot of money for VeChain, and we've definitely come a long way from for you know for people who've invested in VeChain a long time ago, uh, including me. Market cap rank is at 19 on the number 19. Uh, when the price of VeChain spiked and it was at, at its all time high, we were sitting at number 10 on the global crypto ranking. So we've dropped nine points, and you guys know why. And now looking at the chart at the moment, WeChain is, is starting to go back up. Now, a few good news um, that I'd like to share with you before we get, get down into the Fibonacci chart and see you know, what we have in terms of future price predictions. The way I do it is I always do two weeks of price prediction now because the market is quite volatile and I don't want you guys to uh, start dreaming about the long term. Yes, I do believe in the, in the coin and the... Uh, the use cases of the coin and the price going up really high but let's start looking at the small targets let's take baby steps first so vchain news the biggest news that we've got this week from vchain is vchain is now available on coin Harco. now coin Harco is a exchange is a it's a crypto exchange and the the people who actually own coin Harco, they are based out of singapore but they are targeting targeting the vi the wider Asian market. So this means that VET VeChain has opened its door to a lot of more Asian people. Now that is good news. That is time for us VeChain experts and VeChainers to celebrate because VeChain will gain more insight and VeChain will get more customers from this. So the price is only meant to go up, and because of this you will see there will be a major um, increase in the trading volume. So you look at today's trading volume, WeChain has done almost $2.45 billion today. That is massive for a market cap of $8.85 billion. So we've literally done quarter of, uh, quarter of our market cap's trading volume just in a day. That is amazing. Digging down to VeChain price predictions. So what I do is I recommend all of my uh, subscribers and my viewers. It is a, it is good time to hold, but the way I look at it is you're not to be too greedy, because if you think you are what what you what people call a VCAN, what if you know if you get too scared of your losses, I would recommend that when VeChain goes a little bit up. You sell a little bit of your WeChain, you know, probably sell 10% of your coins so that you get a little bit of profit out of it. That's how I do it. I don't see it as a day trade, but I see it as a, as a way of securing my profits because if WeChain does go down again, because of Bitcoin and because of all the FUD that's out there, at least you will have a little bit of profit that you would have made out of WeChain. All right, so what I'm going to concentrate on is I'm going to concentrate on all the way up till the end of 10th of June. So you're looking at 11th of June here, which means I have already drawn a Fibonacci chart. If you look at the all time high price, it was sitting at around 28 cents. And the all time low that we recently had, we had it on the 19th of May, it went all the way down to 5 cents. Unfortunately, that is the case. It went down to all the way to five cents and I'll show you how. See at the at the top where it's showing you the high as being 12 cents, 12.5 cents and the low as being five cent. I'm just gonna dig it down again just so you guys could see. It's quite, there you go. So you know, see 5.2 cents. That was quite low. So congratulations to the people who've actually bought the dip, who actually bought at five cents. You guys are in for a big surprise, surprise, a big positive surprise because VeChain has been doing amazing since then. And I myself, you know, took advantage of the of the dip and bought a few more coins. So congratulations to those people. And people who actually bought an all-time high of 28 cents, do not panic because we are riding this roller coaster and it's already had its worst days. And it's only going to get better from here, believe it or not. So the next target for our two weeks would be, we had seen this massive resistance of, of going down to five cents. Now the market is, is improved and today the trading is happening at 13.62 cents. And if you look at the percentage of that, 
we are already up 210% since the last massive dip. Now, I am expecting that there will be another dip because if you look at the Fibonacci retractment tool, and you look at this chart here, we're already crossed, you know, the first level of resistance over here. And that means, you know, having a 2% gain and that two within a week is massive. So I think we are gonna go down again in this couple of days. We may go down all the way here to 170%. Back to so it will be around 40% decline in price, and we'll be sitting at around. I'll tell you the price. We'll still be sitting at around 12 cents, roughly, or 11.9 cents. But from that point onwards, I think V chain will go back up all the way, and it will go to a good 14.9. 215 cents and that too by the end of sorry by by the first of june so by the end of this month it may be a little bit sooner but i think if we set a target of 15 cents by the first of june that is a, a very uh, achievable target now for it to go to to the all-time high again i think it's going to be very quick but i don't think it's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. Unfortunately, that is a sad truth and I hate to break it down to you, but I, let's, let's be realistic, okay? Now, from that point onwards, I think that the, by the end of the June 10th, 10th of June, end of day, we would most likely expect the price of VeChain go down to around 18.9 or around 19.5 cents. That's the max I, I see the price going up to. Now in between, it will dip again. So what I see is every third day, VeChain is gonna dip 20, 30, 25 to 30%. So don't panic when you see that dip. If you're a day trader, you can trade and then buy back again. But I think it will be in the interest of holders. If you're holding VeChain, it'll be in your best interest that VeChain, that you hold VeChain all the way till 10th of June so that you could hit that 19 cents to 20 cents again. Before I um, conclude this video today, um, if you are going to ask, if you're asking me where or when VeChain will hit all time high of 28 cents again, I think that will most likely be in July. So we would need another month. It'll either be the, 20, the 3rd or 4th July, or it could be the mid of July because some of the news, some of the FUD that I'm hearing, and some of it, it may be true as well, it's that the price of, Bit of Bitcoin will bounce back up quickly, very quickly. That's it for today, guys. I hope you like my video. Please do subscribe to my channel. Um, if you're new to the video, please like. Please leave your comments on what you think about the Bitcoin prices. Take care. Bye.